And how are we doing tonight? Welcome to Late Night, episode five of the year. Give it up for the hardworking crew. We've had the crew working nonstop, day and night, the past week. Give it up for all the people on the show you don't see up here on the stage. Now let's get down to business. So Washington State law enforcement has been selling weapons that they've confiscated. They have sold AR-15s and AK-47s back into the street. And I get the argument that people are going to get those guns anyway, so they might as well come from the police. But, I mean, it kind of feels like someone from Alcoholics Anonymous also running a liquor store. You know, or like your professor making you buy their textbooks. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. A state school funding plan makes it so that schools with lower income students receive less money. Uh, Schools like Washington State, or districts in Washington State will receive 2,000 more per student than Tacoma school districts who have 40% more low-income students. I guess Washington State's plan was to give money to the rich schools and hope that it trickled down to the poor ones. <laughs> yeah, the government officials have heard students saying they wanted more recess, so they used tactics that led to our country's greatest recessions. To evade the police in Gig Harbor, a man ran into the local YMCA, stripped down, and hid in the sauna. <laughs> However, he was still wearing his boxers, which is a dead giveaway in a sauna full of naked old men. <laughs> yeah, he was confident enough to steal from a store, but not as confident as the elderly. <laughs> a food bank was given an eviction notice in Seattle and how does that even happen? Like, I guess they aren't making enough money on the free food they're giving away. Apparently, the landowner just wanted the space to build more high-rise housing. Like, what a jerk move. Hey, homeless people, remember how we took away your food? Well, here's more housing you can't afford. <laughs> According to Cairo 7, two men tried to rob Girl Scouts. The key word there is tried. <laughs> One of the men was even armed with a gun, but by the end of the encounter, the two men were sent running. So screw having guns in schools, let's just use Girl Scouts. <laughs> and we wouldn't have to pay them, you know, just give them a badge. <laughs> so uh, some people tried to rob Costco, and if you want to see some efficient police work, check this out. Talk about a surprise party, hey, welcome. <laughs> they tried to rob the Costco in the exact same way that they did it a few weeks prior. And it's ill-advised to reuse one of your papers word for word, let alone your plan to rob a corporate institution. <laughs> and it's Costco, they should've just stolen in bulk the first time. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> At a recent rally, Trump announced that his slogan for the 2020 campaign will be, Keep America Great. Oh, trust us, Donald, some of us are trying. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump recently hired John Bolton, which former President Jimmy Carter said was Trump's worst mistake. And John Bolton's worst mistake was using just for a minute on his hair, but not on his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> However, we won't be surprised if Trump tweets less and gets more work done, because everyone knows that nobody keeps your head in the game like a Bolton. <laughs> All right, that's it for the monologue. We have a fantastic show for you tonight.